Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on the mic with Mike. It is Friday. That means we are here, Paula Pardell, with uh, Bloom Matchmaking, and the name of the segment is called Modern Love. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Paula Pardell. We're here at the Common House, as you can see behind us. Uh, it is we're here. We're here coming to you on Sports 106.1. Uh, on the mic with Mike, Paula Pardell, Blue Matchmaking. Let our new listeners know who Blue Matchmaking is. Well, Blue Matchmaking, we're a concierge matchmaking service. Uh, what we do is we help people find compatible um, long-term relationships in a safe and effective way. Um, all the matches are based on compatibility. I vet everyone, and everyone is back, background checked also. And we don't want you to just get into any relationship. We want to find you the right relationship, a healthy relationship. So I talk a lot about what does it take to be in a healthy relationship? What are your boundaries that you need to set up? I work with a lot of coaches. Of course, I'm right there along with you, coaching you along the way, holding your hand, um, talking to you about the dates and getting feedback. It's a truly a personalized experience. All right, Paula Pardell, so it's a new audience here. I always tell people don't swipe left, don't swipe right. You are vetting people. This is hand-holding. This is you are the guide between us and making bad choices. Because as you say, if I'm going on pictures alone, swiping, swiping, I'm going to tend to keep finding the same person over and over again. Yeah, we do do that. Um, whether it's subconscious or not, we, we tend to pick the same people over and over again. People will come to me and they'll say, well, Paula, I have a type. And I'm like, Paula, you know, you're talking to me. And um, how's that working for you? Obviously, it's not working that great because mm -hmm. you're back out on the market. Yeah, so maybe you want to date a little bit off type or, or, you know, there's things that people think that are so important when they're getting in a relationship. And a lot of those things are pretty shallow and they don't really matter a lot once we get into a, a relationship you know we get we got mortgages we got kids we got all these things height um hair color and and certain uh, physical aspects aren't really going to mean a hill of beans at that point what you really want is to be compatibility that's the foundation and the glue to your relationship and of course you know that the uh the um the attractiveness and the chemistry, you know, as you know, you've been married for a long time. That sort of ebbs and flows over time. But those core values within your relationship is really what keeps you together in the end. So you say we always talk about the rose-colored glasses. Let, let's let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, we do. We all do it. I don't care who we are. You can run in a multi-million dollar company. Um, and we all do that. We put on these rose-colored glasses when we meet people because we want them to like us. And a lot of times it is subconscious. We want them to like us. We're just sort of moving towards like what they like and um, what we think that they how they want us to be. But you know, six months down the line, or it ain't work. Yeah, it's not gonna work because I can only keep that up for so long. Yes, you can. And then the real me is gonna pop out. Mm -hmm. And then true. what happens when the real me pops out? Yeah, that's tough. Then we need to start, you know, reassessing <laughs> the relationship and maybe getting some uh, relationship um, help and things like that. And hopefully, you can get over that. But I like to start out with the compatibility part before you get in front of yourself. Um, we're going to start out that way. Of course, you got to be attracted to someone and have chemistry with that person. But we're flipping it around a little bit so you do start on a firmer foundation for a better relationship in the end. All right. Paula Pardell is here with us. Let's talk about the business and, and of matchmaking. So matchmaking is kind of this new thing, huh? Well, it's not <laughs> been around new. for a while. It's been around for a long time, you know, centuries upon centuries. It arguably, arguably, like I like to say, the oldest profession. Depending we, on we, exactly. We've had that conversation. Yeah. So, you know, there has been matchmaking, you know, forever. You know, and it, it, a lot of it was in people's communities or villages or things like that. Um, and there was a person in within their community that helped match people. But then um, over the the years, it became something where it was something that a lot of us normal people didn't really know about because the uh, super rich, the super wealthy people used matchmakers to find their person. But now it's becoming more mainstream, um, more affordable for people. It still is a higher end service, but it's not quite as high end as it had been in the past. There's a lot of, it's crazy. There's all these secret society matchmakers and things like that. And the only people that really know about them are the ultra wealthy people. But I like to work 
you know, the people that I work with are successful single people that are looking for a committed relationship and I'm helping them find that. Okay, so how does your business work? I'm out there and I'm in need of love and I've been looking in all the wrong places. What do I do? Well, the first step is you can go to my website. It's bloommatchmaking.com. You can fill out your profile. You can set up a time to talk to me and I'll explain to you how it all works. I have a free database that anyone can get into. Um, if you fill out your profile in my database, if you do come up for a match for one of my clients, I'll let you know. Um, I'll interview you, make sure the match is good for both of you, and do a background check at that time also. That's right, because we're not trying to get any creepos. Because a lot of times, there are a lot of things so that go on out there that are kind of scary in the dating world. So it's on the mic with Mike. This is Modern Love, Mike King, Paula Pardell. She is a bloom matchmaking fame. Every Friday, you're going to have us here, and you're going to take us off into the weekend. Spring is coming. You know, a lot of people have gotten their shots. We, we've been in the, the Zoom dating world for a while. As I said, I got the Joe Juice the other day. Uh, well, I got half of it. I, I'm on the, to the next one. What's, the, what's it look like out there in the dating world? What are people talking about? Oh, my gosh, it's really exciting right now. Finally, finally, things are opening up. Spring is in the air. Love is in the air. Vaccines are the new sexy, I got to say. Oh, We're no. We're putting that on our, um, our profiles that people are vaccinated. Yes, we've talked about COVID worthy. Yes, we have. We, we've talked about being COVID worthy. That determines whether you are willing to get close to someone. Mm -hmm. And so now... When we when you do the makeover for me, we're gonna put that patch on it. It says I'm vaccinated. Yes, we are. We're gonna put that on our front and center. Let everybody know that you're you are okay to become to go with within six feet. Of exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. So this is new. Mike King, Paula Pardell, Sports 1061. We are here. Paula's gonna take you off into the weekend. Okay, Paula. Uh, the services that you helped me with. Uh, it, the year is 2021. I'm still playing Prince 1999. And I think that's, you know, I was a big deal in 99 or 89. What can you help me with to make me more of a 2021 model? Well, I got to say there ain't nothing wrong with the Prince, but <laughs> there are some people that are living in the 80s and they need help. It's that they, it's been a while. They haven't been out there. So I do help with that. We talk, we help with like an image makeover and sometimes it's not just the way you look on the outside it's it's it helps you on the inside too and it builds confidence and then we get you some pictures done um as much as i don't like to say it it is about marketing it yourself is. you've got to market yourself and you put do. your best foot forward so now you also help me with my uh profile mm -hmm. because my i thought my profile was good and you're like ooh, your profile needs some help yeah, I do help with that. If, for people that do want to stay online, I offer another service too, which I will help you. We'll help you write your profile. We'll help you get the right pictures. And a lot, you know, a lot of people they'll put their their pictures up there that they like, but you really got to think about who are you trying to attract. Okay, so we're, let's go down to pictures not to you, ex wives, dead wives, or you know, or dead husbands. Correct? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Animals, but people like animals. Well, your pets are fine. But no dead. Yeah, stay away from the dead animals. The taxidermy. Okay. The taxidermy and things like that. Okay. Women, that doesn't really turn women on. You know, are you trying to attract another hunter, a hunting buddy? Or, you know, I don't think you are. Or a fishing buddy? I mean, some there's some, oh, there, 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 there There's are. somebody for everybody. There is somebody now, for everybody. Now, the number <laughs> may be smaller. It is. You're limiting yourself. You are that. limiting yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we've talked about some of the pitfalls of dating, some of the terms. Now, for at our previous home on WJFN, now we're here at Sports 106. One, we have to give our, our listeners some terms that they need to be aware of. Okay. Well, there's a lot of... Hobo them. dating. Yes, <laughs> you love the hobo dating. I'm, I'm going to say, gotcha. give so, our listeners an idea of what hobo dating is. Hobo dating is somebody that you start to date and they come over to your house and they don't leave. <laughs> They don't have nowhere to go. Okay, so they're they're just staying. So here you are. You, what started out as a date, now you got a, it's not even a house guest. It was a house guest for a couple of days. They just sort of slide their way in there. You start noticing they got more and more stuff at your house. And then all the, of a sudden, but they're they may, right, there. but they may be good. 
they may, be, you know, they yeah. could be helpful. They could fix things. They may be able to cook. Okay, hobo dating. In a perfect world, that would happen. But it ain't a perfect world. Okay, yeah. zombies. Yes. So the zombie you think, that is when you're talking to somebody, you're getting it rolling, you really think things are going, then poof. They're you gone. never hear from them again. You get feel like you've been ghosted. Then like two weeks later or whatever, months later down the road, they're like, they pop up again and they're alive again. They came back from the dead. Well, they didn't come back from the dead. They really worked for the CIA. <laughs> yeah. And, well, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. We, we've had I, that. I had to go to a we, trip to Afghanistan. And, because I had know, to save the government. You know, I did, I did some serious work for the government. Yeah. I can't. I, that's where I've been the last, you know, 18 days. Okay. We talked to It's uh, Modern Love. Mike King, Paula Fardell here. Uh, places to meet people. We've had this conversation in the past. Places to meet people. Gosh, it is tough now. Everyone's got their mask on. You can't, it's hard to see somebody. You got to read those eyes. Um, you got to smile with your eyes. What is that? Smile. Smiles? I think is Heidi that... Klum used to say that, you know, when you're modeling or whatever, you have to smile, bring it out in your eyes. Yeah, like that's why I wear these glasses to kind of cover it up <laughs> because, you know, everybody can't do that. Because you don't know what people, you don't know people with the mask on. You don't? What if they take out the outfit mask and they don't have any teeth? Mm. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we have Paula Fardell here to help, you know, that the visual, the mask, everything. They, they, I, okay, here's a side note. I was, I went to get this shot at, at the VA. Going to the VA isn't like a regular going to a medical facility. Yeah, yeah these are men and women who, who've been, you know, there, there's some characters there. I saw some masks that were truly disturbing. <laughs> That I saw some masks. There were some Joker masks. There were some things, and I start thinking because you know I got the the regular mask. I see you got some. Oh, you have the blue matchmaking thing too. I do. Too. I have some branded. But I seen some that are kind of disturbing, and so now when you see a person, all this is all covered up, and here they are. You don't know who they are. They, you know what they're doing. But the weather's getting nice. People are getting vaccinated. And the spring is coming. Spring is, is spring for lovers. Spring is for lovers. Everybody gets Twitter pated. You ever see Bambi when all the animals are like, oh, everyone's in love, and and and, for yeah. and what happens? And a couple up, and it's a, it's an exciting time, especially right now with us coming out of COVID. I don't think we're quite out of the um, woods yet, but we are getting there. I think the news is getting more positive every day, and that's that's exciting to turn on the news and hear some good stuff. Yeah, we turned on the news and I saw what was going on down in, in Florida. Um, where they looked like they were having some. That looked like too much. You cannot show people down having too much fun like that. Because it's going to, there's problems. It's going to show up. Yeah. We, uh, you think back to, I took, I saw pictures of us year a year or so ago, two year, year and a half, packed in a room. Everybody just having a great time. And now, here we are. I know. Okay, so what can people expect with Modern Love every Friday at 5.30 a.m. and 1.30 on Facebook? Well, we're going to be talking about all things love and um, matchmaking and how to find a person, how to get into a, a, an effective, healthy relationship and, and beyond that. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have some coaches on, some guests. Um, we well, always have, have our... some really cool guests on. Okay, we can talk about some of the guests. Okay. You had... Uh, our friend Mike Lee, the, uh, you know, the motivational speaker. Yeah, Mike's awesome. You know they're moving to Puerto Rico? Is that why they're spending all the time there? Yeah, they rented a place in Puerto Rico, and they're packing it up and moving for the summer. Mike Lee, the most interesting man in the world who just happens to be blind, and he does more than, than everyone else. So Mike, Mike Lee is a motivational speaker. You've had him on. You've had uh, the bar chef cocktail guy. Yeah, Mike Love was interesting. We did a really cool virtual event with everyone. We got some singles involved. We made some cocktails. He's selling his home cocktail kits, which are really cool. He's teaching people how to make these craft drinks that we can't go out and get anymore at the bar. So he's teaching people how to do it at home. I had Julia Bendis on. Oh, yeah. She's an interesting person. She's in California. She's a California love maker. Yes, she is a third generation matchmaker. But, and we talked to her about her son. And like, boy, it's kind of hard to have your mom as a matchmaker, you know, your mom's cramping your style because. Yeah, it, well, you know, Julia's Russian and she's also Jewish. 
And um, she's quite opinionated. <laughs> yes, and yes, she is. And so I had to ask her, boy, it's probably rough being your son <laughs> because, okay, we've had her on. Oh, we've also talked to Coach K. Oh, yes, Coach K. I'm sure Coach K will be coming on. Mm. We always like to take Coach talk to coach k she's always got interesting things to say about um coach k she is our our resident sexologist yes she is and she also has she sells some items to items help you with that also toys yes she does not so, basketballs not footballs no not uh the little green army men that we use or matchbox hot wheel cars nope no she's selling some interesting toys for adults to spice up the relationship but what i feel really what I find very interesting about her is most of the things she talks about doesn't even have to do with what's going on in the bedroom. No, it doesn't. It has to do with what's going on outside the bedroom to make things better in the bedroom. And, and that's when, when she talked about communication. Okay, well, now we're talking about communication. And when we first, we've been, we've been doing this now almost a year. We started off on things that are important, communication. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that with our listeners uh, about the communication and how important it is to find people and also to keep relationships going. Oh, it, it's crucial. You have to communicate with people. Relationships, you know, we don't want to think about them as work, but we do have to work on it and be conscious of how our partner's feeling and to communicate our feelings um, from like when we first get in a relationship. What do you want from this relationship? Sure. Be honest about it. You know, if you do want a full-fledged, long-term relationship, tell them. If you don't, tell them. It's okay, but you need to be honest with, with people because it's going to save you a lot of heartache in the end. And then once we get into the relationship, we need to check in with our partner and see how they're feeling. And, um, you know, maybe every day, like, check in. Hey, how was your day, honey? Um, You know, what made you happy? What made you sad? And, and just, you know, talk about, you know, different things when we get in an argument. So... You know, when you do get in those little arguments, it doesn't just explode in this huge, huge thing that we haven't we haven't um, been able to uh, touch on and communicate with. If, if that makes sense, well, that, we know how that is. Something could start small. Oh, you didn't put your cup away. You left your cup on the cupboard, or or something silly like that. And then it, it turns into it turns whole, into a big old thing. thing. All righty, Mike King, Paula Pardell, she is here. Modern love, bloom, matchmaking. You are a lady about town. You, you are featured in publications. You are all over. Let our listeners know where they can find out more about what you do. Well, start at my website. Check out my website, bloommatchmaking.com. There's a lot of good information on there. I've got an awesome blog with uh, dating tips, um, places to go on dates in COVID, um, dating tips during, um, during COVID and things like that. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. You've been in Style Weekly. I have been. Okay, what else, where else have you been? I was on Barry's. Um, the Barry Farmer Morning Show? Or, no, I, or I was in, in the magazine. magazine? I was in Barry's Mark Magazine, which was awesome. I've been in um, the um, Richmond Times for a, a, a profile there. Okay, you've been a speaker at, oh, let's talk about Synapse a little bit. Okay. You're, you're totally committed to the community, and that's what we do. Talk about your commitment in Synapse. I love Synapse. An awesome opportunity to network with like-minded people. We're, we're doing business for the goodness of society, um, promoting ourselves, promoting nonprofits, and also collaborating and partnering with them too to help each other out. Collaborations and partnerships have always been important, but they're more important than ever right now. Oh, that is true. So here you created a partnerships. You, Jimmy Comer, Chris Smith, RBI Services. Yeah. Wow. Sam Anderson and Enzo Media. Yeah, Sam's doing a great job for me. If you check out my Facebook pages and all my things, he's doing all that things that stuff for me. We're we're creating some really interesting video content. It's a lot of fun. Alrighty, Paula Pardell is here. Um, weekend is coming up. How about if you had to give a person an idea where to meet someone in a grocery store? Which aisle are we gonna? <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, we talked about this before. But right, but we, we got a new audience. I so know. if we're in a grocery store and I, you know, you want to meet someone, do we meet them in the frozen food section? Yeah. Mm. Well, I think the wine aisle might be a good aisle. Right, but they put the wine aisle right by the, the uh, produce because you say the produce is the place. Yes, the produce is the place, you know. 
you know, I don't know if I go with your approach about like, how do you like these melons? <laughs> that, that, you know what? That line may get you in trouble. <laughs> you in hey, trouble. And yeah, that line can get you. So, you know, this is a PSA. This is a public service announcement. If you're in the produce island, you're looking to meet a, a person. Don't go with the line that says, hey, let me check out this melons. No, that is going to get you in trouble. The security may be called. So just, just don't. Do I don't it. know. I'd have to laugh. If somebody did yeah. That. OK. That and we talked hilarious. about that. You may not be all that you know easy on the eyes, I'd say, but you say funny works. Oh, yeah. Funny it makes up for a lot of things. You don't have to be the best looking guy in the world. But if you're funny, you can get a girl. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, on the mic with Mike, Paula Pardell, Blue Matchmaking. Paula, one last time, how can people find you? Check me out at bluematchmaking.com, Instagram, LinkedIn, where else? Facebook, and give me a call. And she has a phone. Paula I Pardell do. has a phone. Give me a call at 804-244-1398. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Paula Pardell. She is the famous. <laughs> <laughs> she's our, she's the bestest matchmaker that out there. What she can do is save you time and problems, you know. Be the creepos that are out there, you know. Don't swipe left and right. Get a professional to do it. One of my Mike, we'll be back. Thanks now. Take care.